42nd Street Library, and we're waiting for Anthony. This is the place where Anthony uh, does a lot of his work and uh, conducts his business. So we're at one of the main staples in terms of New York City's intellectual life, the New York City Public Library. Waiting for Anthony. Yeah. Where are we going to do? Take over an Apple store? Anthony, how you doing? Okay, here we are. Step all the way in, Sir, are you in here? I think it's amazing that some person who's basically living on the streets and has nothing and carries his whole sort of studio in his backpack and can use public facilities and to come up with this kind of artwork, I think is truly incredible. And like I say, it's so organized. It's not really about chaos. It's all about uh, you know, being organized. It has music. It's all thought out. It's not messy. It's not confused. It's just really well done graphic art. Got through that without any big drama. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. So I don't think anybody's going to complain. On our way up to uh, 79th Street to where Anthony stays. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. So you only ride the train a couple times a year? Yeah, not, not too often. So you almost walk everywhere? Yeah, about 15 miles a day. We, we want to get inside the tunnel, so the tunnel is this way. Alright. Way of the 72nd Street Tunnel, and uh, I guess it's considered the Metro North Tunnel. As, as you can see, uh, during the daylight hours, it would be you would have like this dramatic shaft of light coming in. It's like almost like being inside a cathedral. If there are people down here, you would find like a little campsite, but uh, I think there are people down here that what they do is they stay closer to the, to the aisles. If you get too cold, you could basically climb down here and, and cover the lid and it would be away from the wind. When, when I come here, I feel like I'm in a sanctuary. It's like... Uh, it's very important when you're uh, someone that's seen as a pariah in society that you you maintain a, a sense of uh, solitude and, and uh, wholeness towards your life in, in this city and that you're not somebody that is going to submit to uh, the tyranny that uh, society uh, inundates at you. So what are you going to do now? Um, I think I'll just walk downtown with you to your stop when you go to your train or whatever and then uh, I'll try to blend in if that's possible. I don't think it is, but uh, I, I have to go on and, and do the best I can. Okay, here we are at 161 Essex, uh, Clayton Gallery, the Outlaw Art Museum, and we have our Anthony show. And a lot of interesting people are showing up, and it's just uh, really good to be uh, starting to get Anthony's work out there. There you go, and here we go. We got more, 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 more. How you doing, Captain? Good. You going to check out the show? Yeah, of course. Awesome work, powerful, spiritual. This guy's the next powerful artist. He's gonna be well known. 
Yeah. I'm glad to meet you too. <laughs> Good to talk with you. Uh, thank you for your uh, attendance. Yes. Anthony's work is incredible and you know it takes a guy like Clayton to put this type of work uh, in the spotlight and that's what he's here for and that's what he's been here for for years so I think everybody's lucky to have Clayton around. And Clayton it's good to see your gallery opening again I mean I know that it's from time to time you know you open it up it's always good to see it open beautiful thing. <laughs> So what do you think of uh, Anthony's work here? I'm actually really impressed by it. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, it's really beautiful. I, I like the detail. I like the... Look at me talking about art. I'm not going to talk about art too, but I think it's pretty amazing and interesting. I met Anthony in front of the library a couple of weeks ago and he invited me to the show and I was just checking it out. It's phenomenal work. love the detail as far as the intricacy, the contrast. I really love the work. Very clean work. Thank you. I think it was great, it's phenomenal. I think it should happen more often. It's a beautiful thing. I think more people should know about this. This is something that should be touching the ears of everyone. And I think there's so much more that people think they know, that they don't really know, that they need to know more of. Okay, I've known Anthony since 1994, and I knew him from the gallery openings, and in 1995 we became lovers, and uh, he's, he's really an interesting creature, and I think it, it shocks people that Anthony has a girlfriend because they think of him as this little tin Jesus that just sort of doesn't have his penis or something, but he's, he's a human being like the rest of us, it's just that he sort of resists temptation. And I've seen his art evolve. I mean, if you look at it all the way back from what I have, I have some pictures that are color on paper, and ever since then he's worked in black and white. And if you see the work evolve from where he's bleaching things to where he's doing these very hard edge things, and now he's doing the things with the music, then you can see this evolution going on. And I think he really is uh, a piece of work, actually. Anthony is an example of when you have cement, if you see in your lifetime, sometimes people see cement like a sidewalk, and a rose or a flower goes out through the cement. And Anthony is one of those flowers that grows through cement.